Essex under pressure after Proctor Century. Northamptonshire have produced a number of gritty and determined innings so far this season, and the same could be said for Will Young and Luke Proctor in their first innings at the Cloud County Ground in Chelmsford. Essex on top, but defied by the two half-centurions. The hosts were hunting three more wickets, though. Just the tail stood between them and their batting innings. Proctor, though, was still there. He and Kelly returned to the middle and took Northamptonshire past 250 early in the day. Kelly, though, would only add seven. He was out for Shane Snater's third, tamely pulling straight to Critchley. Berg wasn't so easy to to get rid of though, and played his part in an impressive partnership with the informed Proctor. They put on 50 together, the early Essex success dissipating as Northamptonshire moved past 300 runs and refused to stop. And they were still there when lunch was called, the score now 328 for 8. The hosts once again frustrating the former champions, and Proctor was one away from his ton. The wait for Proctor wasn't long. Two turned into the leg side off Stachetti got him to the mark. A hundred scored of a patient 256 balls, a fine knock in aid of his side. Berg too would have reason to raise the bat. 50 scored off 107 balls. That was reached with a single off Critchley. Soon the ninth wicket pair had put on 100 runs together. Their stand pretty evenly shared. Essex finally had their man. Proctor was looking to heave Critchley over the leg side, but only found Walter at mid-wicket and departed for 113. With the innings heading towards its conclusion, Sanderson and Berg threw the kitchen sink at the Yorkshire bowling. Sixes soaring, ropes smacked, and they took their side to the cusp of 400. That's when the hosts finally had their last wicket. Berg picked out Wesley off the bowling of Critchley. Northamptonshire all out for 390. Proctor's 113 had given them confidence, but a word for Berg too. The side's second top scorer at number 10 with 75 to his name. The wickets had been shared. Snater led the attack with 3 for 56. But once again, Essex lost an opener cheaply. Brown out for 12, caught by Young off the bowling of Sanderson. Wesley joined Sir Alistair Cook and got them back on track, building towards 50. But the captain couldn't take them beyond the half century of runs. Out with the score on 45. Caught by Will Young off the bowling of Taylor. T taken with the fall of the wicket. More pain for Essex after the break. Cook nibbling at one from Sanderson to depart for six. Critchley had them hobbling past 50, but Northamptonshire had found a groove and had another. It was Critchley that had to go, caught in the slips after a couple of goes at it off the bowling of Sanderson. And Paul Walter soon followed. Gay with a good low catch. Sanderson with his fourth. Essex were up to 73 when they lost another wicket. Wheater looking to leave. Kelly said thank you very much as middle stump was lifted out of the ground. The follow-on, now a real possibility. That was a virtual certainty when Harmer shouldered arms. Kelly found his pads and up went the finger. Out LBW for naught. They were eight down when Cushy slashed at one from Proctor and had to go. The score 83 for eight. No further wickets fell before the end of the day. Essex finishing in a whole heap of trouble at 95 for 8, still some 145 runs away from avoiding the follow-on. It was a great day for Northamptonshire, whose captain Ricardo Vasconcelos will sleep easy, knowing he'll almost certainly have a decision to make as to whether or not to enforce the follow-on when he returns to the county ground on Saturday morning. The only question looks to be, when will that opportunity arise?